It's Friday. Hey, it's Friday. You know, we call this Love Day. <clears throat> so, happy Love Day. And what, by we, I mean me and my crew, me and my family, me and my tribe. We call it Love Day because of the planet that is ruled by. And so, we greet each other. Happy Love Day. Happy Love Day. Um, <clears throat> Friday has has been dedicated to my mama on a Friday I tent I used to when, when she was here in this physical plane we would she would get all dressed up y'all we would go out to eat I'd be like come on mom let's go to lunch and I would come and she'd be all dressed up she would be at her um vanity thing getting her hair putting her putting her wig on and you know she might be like, you tried me by telling people I was wearing a wig. Ma, we knew you was wearing a wig, but it was fly. <laughs> anyway, she'll have a whole little outfit on, honey, and we would go out. And then she'll have her list of places that she wanted to go, honey. Seven Under was always on the list. <laughs> um, but she loved the little Indian restaurant up there on um, Moreland. Let me see, what's the Indian restaurant called? Um... Dang, how can I not remember? Planet Bombay, I think is the name of it. She would love, she loved her some Planet Bombay, honey. And they loved her. They would be like, hey, mama. And she'd be like, hey, y'all so sweet. They'd be like, you want some soup? She'd be like, you know I do. And instead of a little bitty bowl, they would bring her like this like big bowl of it. She just felt so special. Aw. Sending love to my mama. Y'all send some love to my mama. <clears throat> All right, so I wanted to hop on and give a short word. I was thinking about something that people, uh, a lot of people always say. Uh, they'll say, you know, yeah, I'm going to do that, Lord willing. Or, you know, yeah, uh, I'm going to go, Lord willing. You know, they use Lord willing. And sometimes I feel that maybe we don't quite understand what that really means when we say it, when we're proclaiming that. That's like an affirmation when you say it, Lord willing. It's like an affirmation. It's like a proclamation. And so <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I want to kind of put some words on it so that we can be clear. So that our speech is impeccable. Meaning we know what we're saying and we mean what we say. We're saying what we mean and mean what we say. All right. Lord willing is proclaiming that it is the Lord's will for this to be done. Period. That's what you mean. That's what Lord willing mean. When you say Lord willing, that mean you that mean you are proclaiming that it is the Lord's will that this it will be done. It is a way of stamping it and saying it is so. Many don't use that like that. They say Lord willing. Look at look at that tone. Lord willing. <laughs> Meaning, I don't really know if it's going to happen, but you know, if it's, the, if it's the Lord's will, it'll be done. That's how people use that uh, phrase. You ever heard it like this? You ever heard somebody talk about it like this? How many times have people used, you know, I'll be there, Lord willing. So you're proclaiming it is the Lord's will that is done. And, uh, and that Lord, don't let me get into that. That Lord is that indwelling will of you. The Lord resides in you. The governance of you and your faculty is inside of you. It's not anything on the outside of anywhere else. It's inside of you. And so if you have declared that it is your will that is done and you line up with that, then you are proclaiming when you say Lord willing, you are proclaiming that the Lord that resides within you has willed for this to be done. And so it is so. Ashe. So it's two things about that statement that I think we need to get very clear about. That is when it said it is a proclamation that it is done. And also when it is said, it is a proclamation that that Lord that wills within you 
has declared that it is done. And it is not leaving it to something outside of you to decide whether it is done. Now that could be difficult for many to accept because they, uh, we, we want to hold on to the fact that there is something outside of us that's in control of our lives. There is something outside of us that governs what happens in our lives or what, what is possible in our lives. We want to accept that because what happens is if we can accept that, then if something don't happen, we have something to blame. We can now be in a victim. And as a victim, it may not feel good, but a lot of people are very comfortable being a victim than being held accountable. Queen, you said you was gonna have a short word. I'm put I'm saying things that it's like it's is it's more than one word and all of that. <laughs> I say let us not be afraid to be to hold ourselves accountable for there is power in independence. There is power in proclamation there's power in your will there's power in it don't be afraid don't be afraid to tap into the lord that is willing within you don't be afraid to hold yourself accountable to proclaiming what your life is and aligning with that but we're afraid because many times we lack the discipline devotion and sacrifice that it takes to align with that Lord that's willing within you. And so your Lord becomes your ego. It doesn't become the spirit that's leading you to do different things that is actually in alignment with your happiness, your peace, your abundance. It becomes your ego. That which is in alignment with your instant gratification or your coaxing or your getting by or your, you know, I don't want to feel no pain. I don't want to feel no struggle. I don't want to feel no, you know, that's that ego. They don't want to, the ego don't want to deal with nothing. <laughs> but the spirit is always in us. I know that ego, man. Listen. The fight. The spirit is always the spirit dwells within us and it ain't never quiet. We just always maybe got something loud going on, you know, but it's never, it's never silent. It's always speaking to us. And it is giving us the way. And it is leading us and guiding us on in our day to do this, do that, come here, go there, you know, be still, move forward. It's always. Uh, and so, you know, when we decide upon life, so, this, so, you know, I pray that we, we, we begin to listen more to spirit, allow it to guide us and then, uh, make moves and proclaim that Lord willing, it is the will of the Lord for it to be done. So it's so, and let us not be afraid of ourselves. Let us develop a relationship with ourselves so we can know ourselves and love ourselves and trust ourselves so that we can easily make decisions align with them and then proclaim lord willing it is the will of my lord that this is done and so it is so i say so that's the word of the day i just was thinking about i, I always hear people's lord willing honey lord willing you know, Lord will it. It's like, it's like, mm, <laughs> so is it so or is it not? <laughs> you know, Lord willing, honey, Lord willing. Now, that's a proclamation, Lord willing. Are you going to be there? Lord willing. Sometimes we say that to, to get us out of stuff. Well, Lord willing. So if I don't show up, that means the Lord didn't will it. Because you still believe that the Lord is somewhere outside of you. Instead of doing that, once you say you ain't going to be there. Cause just cause you know in your mind you don't want to go, you know in your spirit you you don't need to be there. So once you say you won't be there, we always battling with our true self. Spirit, I told you you don't need to go. You don't. You, it's not. That's not for you. Spirit, I told you you don't need to do that. Spirit, I told you you don't need to take that. Spirit, I told you. And then here you go. Now now you want to use. Now you want to use the statement Lord willing as your little catalyst for an excuse. Come on, somebody. I said this was gonna be a short word. I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> I just felt like sharing the word that was on my heart. 
Lord willing means the Lord that resides and in that is indwelling wills that it is so. And so it is done. That's how we use that phrase. Okay? That's how we use that phrase. No, I can't play with y'all. I gotta be. I said I was gonna start my work day at nine o'clock today. I'm stop. <laughs> I gotta stop playing. I gotta stop playing. But what I do ask of you, if you enjoy these lives, um, your girl is putting together a podcast. I'm putting together all type of stuff right now. I am extremely excited. And it is coming extremely soon. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. But look out for the podcast. Um, I, I have been already saying for a minute, I'm going to move away from a lot of these social media platforms and all this kind of stuff. And it's happening. You know, we're working on it. We're creating uh, the OU Ministries portal where you can find a podcast. You, could, you will find courses. You will find memberships. You will find... Um, um, uh, meditations you're going to find everything that I tend to offer here on Instagram YouTube, Facebook, all that kind of stuff you're going to find there and the site that I'm building it on software that I'm building on it's amazing and so uh, the community that, that, that has been established that is OU Ministries or that is you know th those who like to tune in here and on other social media platforms we can continue to build out that community over there. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. All right. Stay tuned for that. Of course, this is going to be saved, sis. I'll be trying to save them. I'll be trying to. Unless spirit be like, ah, this is for the ears who hear them right now. Then I save them. So peace and love, y'all. Enjoy your Friday. Send love my way. I receive it. I send love your way. I receive it. I send love your way. And send love towards my mama mama gloria that's her name mama gloria <laughs>